for our very first direct to on-demand class, I thought we'd start with a breathe, move, and stretch class. My, one of my favorite things, combining Qigong movements and Tai Chi with resistance stretching and yoga. So I invite you, find a comfortable seat on your mat. Let's take some nice, deep, beautiful breaths in. We take the breath in through our nose, out through our nose right now. Take those big breaths in and relax. Mm, yes. Nice. Let's start out with a gentle little twist to the side. We'll start opening the body up and make your way around to the other side. Oh, yeah, looking over that shoulder, hinging forward, sliding the hands out, reach forward, bending down, take another deep breath or two. And now walk those hands over to the side. We're lightly going to push the fingertips in. We're going to pull the torso back and away. Take two or three breaths right into your side. That side stretching. Mm, nice. And now we work our hands over to the other side again. We lightly push the fingertips in. We pull back. Good. Now, after we've opened up the sides, let's hinge forward. Coming down into an easy forward fold, extending the arms. And we gently, gently, very gently roll yourself up. Hands come just a little bit behind. We're going to lean back, pull those shoulder blades back. Take a couple deep breaths. Now we're breathing into our chest, letting that breath radiate right on down through the belly. Feel the belly rise on the inhale, fall on the exhale. We're opening the chest. We're pulling the shoulders back. Nice. And gently make your way back up right now. This is called seated cat cows. Take a big breath in as the belly comes forward. The shoulders go back. And then we round down. So we're getting the spine in motion. That's the idea here. We open the torso to the front and then round down. Your hands can be on your knees. Sometimes on this one, I love to come up and pull those shoulders back. Hands can slide back a little bit. And then as you round down, maybe you reach forward a little bit and really get that stretch between the shoulder blades, opening up the spine, continuing for a few more breaths. Yeah, yummy. <laughs> Oh, I find so much of this to be yummy, this movement, this big, beautiful movements, the keeping the body in motion and synchronizing those moons with our breath. We come forward and we open with the inhale. And we round back and exhale. Softening, softening. We're in our Astoria studio today. Let's go ahead and roll the torso. Notice the big pile of logs behind us. Um, we're right in the port of Astoria, Oregon, and the... Uh, there's a new shipping yard that used to be the customs yard. It's now the shipping yard right outside our window. River behind, reverse direction. So they'll be loading these logs up on a ship to ports, ports far and wide. So kind of sad. You hate to see the forest goes. Most of the, most of the uh, logging around here now are groves that were planted just for that purpose. So don't feel quite as bad. Let's come back upright. Let's change the cross of our legs. Now, let's start working our wrists a little bit. We're going to push our hands straight out. Spread your fingers. Extend the arms. Hands back towards your head. And now pull back on those fingers. Yeah. Just give it a nice stretch. Give that wrist a nice stretch before we move on. And then pull the hand forward. Again. Give that nice stretch going on the forearms now. And let's go to the other side. We'll pull the other fingers back. Now, this is a resistance stretch. You want to resist a little bit with the fingers while the hand is pulling them back. And then gently pull it forward, stretching the forearm. Oof, that's nice. Now, you notice there's no music on these on-demand, these direct-on-demand classes. Part of this, so we can share them on some, share pieces of them on some social media. But also, I want you to pick your music. On these classes, put your tunes on. Have them playing softly in the background and enjoy. Or if you like to ramp it up, ramp them up. Good. Now, let's take our hands one over the other. We're going to start spiraling our wrists. We move the elbows up and down. We spiral those wrists around. Nice. And a reverse direction. Ah, oh, yeah. Good. Now, shake those out a little. Just give them a nice little shake. And we're going to extend our right arm out in front. You're going to bend your elbow. You're going to pull that arm across your body. Now, this is a resistance stretch. We want to keep the contraction on both directions. Why do we do that? 
creates an aerobic stretch, and the contraction of the muscle helps get you a deeper, deeper, safer stretch. By contracting the muscle, you're building strength through the full range of motion, and you're also getting that big, beautiful, deep stretch. And I know it seems counterintuitive, but by contracting the muscle, making it work while you're pulling, you are also getting a safer, deeper stretch. It just doesn't seem like that's how it should work, but it is how it works. Straighten that arm, give a nice pull. This was discovered oh, 20, 25 years ago now. Other side, they're eccentric stretches. If you're familiar with gyms, um, you have the contracted stretch and then the eccentric stretch. Like if you're lifting a weight, you come up and the way back down, that's the concentric side. So, eccentric side. <laughs> that's it. That's the education for resistance stretch. Just the key here is keep the pressure on both directions and then you keep pushing that arm out as you pull across. Nice. Let's do one more. We're going to give that a nice big stretch. I love at the end just taking a nice big pull, pulling the shoulder back, taking a breath or two. Good. Now release that. Let's take the right arm up in the air. You're going to give yourself a pat on the back. You're going to reach the other arm up, grabbing that elbow, pull it to the center and the back, and we're going to give a nice big pull. Yeah. Feel that stretch on the back of your arm. Now what's really nice here, you can get the stretch in the arm. Now we can incorporate the lats down the side in this also by leaning over, tipping over, going deeper into your stretch. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now let's go to the other side. Extend that arm, give yourself a pat on the back. Arm center and back. Get a big stretch going. You're resisting with the elbow as you push back and pull aside. And then go ahead and come down. Stretching deeper into the side. Oh, that's just so yummy. Let's release that shoulder rolls again, but they're free form this time, however you'd like to do them. Moving nice and easy. Yeah, yummy. Good. Let's do one more. We're going to interlace our fingers. going to bring our hands behind our head. Bring your elbows back. Tuck your chin in. Push your head into your hands. Now tick-tock. Side to side. This is pulling deep into the lats. Now those muscles around just the outside of your back, down your sides. Get these open. Boy, your shoulders move better. Everything is freer. So you're pushing your head in. That creates a contraction in the sides. You take a little pause at the bottom. Good. Now, next time you drop down, go ahead and drop the lower arm. Reach the upper arm up and over. We're looking for this big side stretch now. Here we're breathing into our side, having the side expand on the inhale. On the exhale, you reach that arm really long. Those nice deep breaths. Using your breath to enhance your stretches. Now take a huge breath in. And as you release, we're going to roll the shoulders down to the mat. I call this my little dish rag ringing out stretch. It's a beautiful little stretch. You're listening to your body. If it's too much, just don't go as deep or even just keep that arm up and long. Good. Now let's go over to the other side. We're simply going to work our way over, dropping the other arm. Other arm reaches up. Long, you reach. You breathe in your side. See if you can make that side expand on the inhale. And then release on the exhale. As it releases, you reach longer. These are the intercostal muscles, those muscles between your ribs. We're stretching. We're lengthening the body. We're opening the ribs. Let's do a couple more deep breaths. And one more, take that huge breath in, and then extend those arms long, rotate the shoulders down. We twist, we wring out the torso, maybe wringing out toxins and nasty stuff, nasty stuff. <laughs> and gently roll yourself back up. Oh, that feels nice. Take a breath. Give yourself a moment. Taking a pause for a breath is powerful. Throughout the day, try it throughout the day. Bring relaxation. I mean, getting rid of stress is one of the keys to a long, fit, healthy, happy life. You may know Peggy and I are both in our 70s, and man, we thrive. We feel better in our 70s than we did in our 40s and 50s. So it can be done. It's just so simple. So, so simple. Let's make our way onto all fours. This is table. We'll be on all fours, so you want to kind of center up and see if you can get the wrists under the shoulders and the knees right under the hips. Good. Now, we're going to do cat cows from this position. That's where the belly comes down on the inhale. And then exhale, you round your back up in the air like that Halloween cat, like the black cat. Or if you've watched the cat stretch, so cow, the belly sways. I don't know why they pick on cows. It could be sway back horse or anything. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The idea is get the spine in motion. 
I'm going to encourage you to take a little pause at the bottom, a little pause at the top. Get a little extra stretch. Yes. Mm, let's do a couple more rounds of this. Again, we're moving with our breath. We're putting that pause top at the pause at the bottom. At the bottom, you take a big breath. And anytime the belly comes forward, I like to inhale. Anytime you round the back, I like to exhale. Enhancing that stretch of the spine. Yeah, good. Now rock those hips a little side to side. You're going to look over the opposite shoulder. Hips go left, you look right. Hips go right, you look left. We're going to float it. We're going to move with ease. It's all about moving the body with ease. There, there's multiple cues I give you through these practices, moving with ease, just that's a reminder. And I think one of the biggest reminders is listening to your body. I always say moving where it feels good to move, lingering where it feels good to linger. Let's say you rock to the side and it's just yummy. You can just hang out there and maybe even give a little bit more like that ringing out twist or maybe, Maybe there's a little motion in the middle. You just want to wiggle those shoulders. Give yourself permission to do that stuff. The more you listen to your body, the more powerful your sessions are going to be. Nice. So let's rock one more time, side to side. And now let's really stretch that spine. We're going to go back to the shoulders and the arms. We're going to work our knees out wide. This is called easy child pose. Knees out wide, soles your feet together. Your bottom pushes back towards your heels. You extend your arms long. We will take some nice deep breaths in this position. Soft, easy breath. Maybe wiggle the torso a little bit. Get those arms long. And now walk your arms out to the side. We push our fingertips in. We're back to the lats again. Pulling down the side. We do that by pushing the fingertips in. Torso pulls away and back as you push those fingertips in. Two or three breaths. You hear me sigh and moan a lot. I love stretching. Come over to the other side again. Push those fingertips in. Away and back. Stretching. Changed my life in 2007. Resistance stretching. And that's, that's what we incorporate. We incorporate resistance stretching, qigong, tai chi, yoga, all into our practices. We combine all those. We blend them all together and make this amazing cocktail for our bodies. Reach both arms long again. Forehead back down to the mat. We extend. Hmm, and now let's return up to our table. Once you're in your table, take a foot right outside the mat. You just bend your knee, take that foot. Now we do this little free-form hip opener. You rock a little bit, you slide a little bit, simply getting the body open, working on lubricating the hip. I always like my Qigong teacher always says, we, we lube up the hip, we oil the hip to make the joints silky and smooth. I mean, isn't that wonderful visual? Just think of your joints being silky and smooth. Now let's take that leg in, we'll go to the other side, we take that foot out, we're doing the same thing, we're rocking, we're rolling, coming down on your forearms, you're listening to your body again. I give you these sometimes, and I know, I know it's a lot of responsibility, but you can handle it. You can handle it, just listen to your body. You know, our bodies are really wise. They really are. They know what to do. They know what you need. Just listen to them. Listen. You keep it in motion. You keep moving, and it'll say, you know what? I want that little, oh, yeah, right there. Hmm. Nice. Now, we've got one foot on the mat. Simply bring the other foot to the mat, and we're going to make our way up, up standing. Isn't that a nice way to get up? Once you're up, let's do a little energy activation. We're going to tap kidney and abdomen. We shift our weight a little side to side as we lightly tap. We're going to go through a little energy flow now. We're going to go down and do a couple deep stretches on the mat for our session today. Mm, this enlivens the body. Yeah. Fires us up, gets the blood flowing. Now, it's allergy season right now, depending on when you watch this. We're going to make a little fist in front. We're going to tap right below the collarbone. This helps open up the lungs. This is actually, if you're out towards the outside, it's lung meridian one and two. And so breathe in deeply through your nose when you're doing the lung tap. Again, we're shifting the way a little side to side. We're letting those arms be free. Think about shifting, moving your torso. First, the arms are being pulled along by centrifugal force. And then nice. I love the next one. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Reach that arm up. Let it go up and over. Yeah, so you get that little pat on the back and you go, man, I did good. Look at me. I got my mat out. 
or I got on the carpet or wherever you're at, and I'm doing something that's good for me. I'm moving my body. I deserve a pat on the back. I deserve some congratulations. Every time I do this, I kind of think of that. It makes me smile. I'm grateful for so many things. But this movement practice, dynamite, will come back to the kidney and abdomen. We're going to soften now. We're going to let the arms go loose. We're going to slow that down. Nice now. This is something called Buddha holds up the earth. We're going to go ahead and put our palms up. We take a big breath in as we inhale. Right above your head, flip the palms up. Thumbs come up, elbows back, and exhale down. We're going to move like this. We just keep this motion going with that breath as you come in. Flip the palms up, elbows back, thumbs up, and down. Now start envisioning you're scooping up energy from the earth. Coming up top, you're coating your body with it. Then you gather from the heavens and bring it back down. There's energy swirling all around our body. You can tap into that. Those of you that know me, I'm not necessarily a woo-woo guy, but I do believe in the energetic field around our bodies, and I do believe you can tap into that. You can feel it. It's just insane how wonderful it is. So we come up. This is just such a wonderful little movement, a little opener. It's a great thing to do first thing in the morning just to get the body enlivened, to get it moving, to get the breath flowing. Sweet. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. And this time we're going to scoop up. We're going to pause the top, gather, and pause at the bottom. Go ahead and roll your hands forward. Bring your feet in just a little. We're going to stand in what's called mountain pose in yoga. We simply have our knees soft, our palms facing. What I'd like you to do is close your eyes for a beat. You'll probably notice some tingling in your fingertips. That's energy. That's that energy you just gathered. Now you can actually envision and take that energy and have it shoot throughout your body. Have it shoot right up through your fingers, through your hands, your wrists, your arms, all the way up into your shoulders, crown of your head, all the way down to your feet. Feel your body enliven as you move that energy around. Energy, energy. Everything is energy. We're energetic beings. Tapping into that energy is so powerful. We do that with our breath and movement. Now we're going to take a huge breath in, sweeping arms all the way up overhead. We're going to do a forward fold all the way down. Let's do another one of those. But this time, lift your body. Spread those arms. Coming all the way up, we take a big breath in, reaching a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, let it flow all the way down. Nice and easy. And one more time. Take that huge breath in. We open. We fold all the way down. Yeah, when your hands hit the mat, we're going to step back. This is down dog. Our bottom's up in the air. We're going to straighten our legs and pedal our feet. We're going to go one side. Push your chest back towards your knees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you're on a mat, it shouldn't be happening. I've almost got like a moonwalk going with my feet here. They keep slipping. <laughs> Time to, uh, I think, get the vacuum out. Now, straighten both legs. Push your heels back to them. I love this little breath exercise right here. We're going to come up on our breath. We're going to take a big breath in coming up, stretching our toes. We're coming up on our toes. As you exhale, we straighten the legs, heels back, chest in towards your knees, deepening our down dog, deepening our stretch. Take another deep breath in. Great stretch for powering up the shoulders. Pushing back, and we'll do one more. Big breath in, and exhale back. Good. Now, hang on to your down dog for a moment. Maybe rock your hips a little. Again, you're listening to your body. Remember what I said? Move where it feels good to move. Yes, yeah, this is one of those where maybe it's nice to... Actually wiggle the shoulders a little bit, drop the head. And now we're going to shift forward to a plank. We're not going to hold our plank today, but plank is such a powerful core position. Oh, go ahead and drop those knees down. We're returning to our table. Now quickly, before we start our deep stretches, we're going to go ahead and take our right arm along, our left leg along. This is called bird dog. This is a balance and strength pose. You're going to lightly engage your core. You're going to reach your arm and your leg long. You're going to feel that cross-body stretch. Lots going on here. Take another breath. And gently switch sides. We'll take the left arm long, the right leg long. We extend, reach. Mm, mm, mm. Sweet. Right back down to your table. Let's roll down onto our backs. Once you're on your back, we're going to bend our knees. Soles of our feet are on the mat. Uh, we're going to roll back. We're going to take two or three deep breaths here. This position 
is almost like a miracle position. I know it might seem lazy, it might seem, but with the knees bent, soles your feet on the mat, and the back relaxed, this is a beautiful position for realigning the body. Now, I will sometimes will come into this class and stay here for a minute or two, especially if we've done a lot of movement, because it is just such a great realignment, a relaxation. But today, let's take another breath or two. Wiggle those shoulder blades wide, back of your neck's long. Now let those knees float side to side. We're going to do a couple deep stretches with some long-held long -held positions, and then wrap it up. So breathe, move, and stretch. Oh, man, isn't that nice? Take a little pause at the bottom on each side. Start synchronizing your breath with this movement. Anytime we go in the stretch would be when the knees drop down. You exhale, then inhale. Lift those knees back to center with your breath. And exhale the opposite direction. Again, a little pause on each side. Inhale and float. Exhale, drop. And you can look over the opposite shoulder. You can turn this into a beautiful full body stretch. Hands can be on your belly. Hands can be out to a T. Find where your body wants to be right now. And just move so easy. Good. Now let's do a quadriceps stretch. Quadriceps are the upper outside of our legs. And they get really tight because we all set too much. Most of us do. Take your right leg. We're going to lift it up in the air, crossing over our left. All the way down at the knees if you can. If you're in a yoga class, they tell you to take your arms out to a T. I find that's beautiful. You can wiggle the shoulder blades wide. Helps you keep the shoulders planted. The idea is to keep the shoulders planted. Now squeeze those legs lightly together as you drop them to the right. Look to the left. This is a position we're going to create a resistance stretch by pushing the legs together. Keep pushing together. If you stretch the upper outside of the left leg, we're going to look over the back shoulder. We're going to take some deep breaths now. And now we let time, gravity, and your breath do the stretching here. And you're keeping the resistance. You can even pause. I like to pulse a little bit when I go into these deep held stretches. Most people like to just hold them and let them be. The idea is to keep that contraction on for a nice deep stretch. We'll hold this for a few more breaths. And gently come back to center. Get yourself centered. You know, when you come back to the center out of a twist like that, make sure you adjust your clothing, whatever you need to do so you can be comfortable. Then we cross the left leg over the right. We drop the knees down to the right. We look left, and we go back to that big, beautiful breath. Mm-hmm. Yummy. <laughs> I find stretching to be so yummy. I mean, my daughter even made me shirts that say, yummy, 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 around our logo. <laughs> Oh, God. I'll let it stretch. Enjoy that stretch. Mm. Nice deep, deep breaths. Melting, melting, melting. And nice. Nice. Now bring those knees back to center. Let's go to one more realignment position. We bring the soles of our feet together. Let our knees fall out wide. Here, wiggle the shoulders wide. Back the necks long. We're going to lightly push the back of the head into the mat. Now let your hands fall to your belly on this one. We're going to soften that lower back. We're going to take nice deep breaths in. Belly rising on the inhale and softly falling on the exhale. Let it rise and fall. We'll do this for just three or four more deep breaths. Let's release. Take the legs long, the arms long. We're going to do a full body stretch, reaching for front and back of the room. We're going to give that one really, really big pull. We're going to release that. We're going to roll onto our sides, make our way up, and finding a comfortable seat. I like to sit on a bolster. It helps me to sit straighter. helps me find that beautiful position. So I invite you. Join me. Bolster, not find that comfortable position. I like legs crossed. Some people have one out. Some people have both out. Okay. 
it's a different position. Some people will do something I can't do. Bend your knees, put your feet behind you. So, thank you so much for joining me in this first exclusive on-demand class. I think they're going to be fun. Again, if you're going to do one of these exclusive on-demand classes, they'll be identified. The newest ones will be up top and right below them will be the replays of the live classes. If you enjoy the classes with the music and, and us interacting with the students in the room. So we want to do something that we're exclusively for the on-demand where you could just go in and know this class was done just for you. So let's do a little twist to the side. Nice, looking over the back shoulder. We're coming around the other direction, a gentle little twist. We fold forward, coming all the way down. Nice. And we make our way back up, extending arms out, coming up and overhead. We come right back down to our heart center. Take a deep breath or two. Ah, and go out and have an amazing day. Again, thank you for joining me for this first exclusive to on-demand class. Have a great day.